What if Wooper was in Gen 1 7U? Now, this is the first time ever doing a video in 7U, and the quick TLDR, the alternative to Smogon is Pokemon Perfect, and with Pokemon Perfect, they have their tiers with a certain number in U at the end of it. So, OU and underuse or Smogon are the equivalent of 1U and 2U for Pokemon Perfect. And Pokemon Perfect goes down all the way to 6U, which I believe would be the equivalent of um, PU? I, at least I, if I remember correctly. But technically there is like an... I don't know if it's official or unofficial. I think it's mostly a community effort. But there was a tier below that called 7U. And that's a tier with only 5 fully evolved Pokemon. The best Pokemon in the tier is Meowth. And you got other really heavy hitters like Golbat, Charmeleon, Hitmonchan, Tentacool, etc. If you want to know more about it, I highly suggest watching Big Yellow's video on the video. Or on the video. On the topic. I will link it both in the description as well as in the um, comments. But enough about that. Let's actually go over Wooper. Because I... I made it a comment yesterday saying if I can get to 470 subscribers uh, by Thursday, I will do a video going over if Wooper was in Gen 1 7U. And you guys actually did it, which I wasn't planning on doing it. I was doing, I was going to do something else. But I guess we'll have to see that later, shall we? Now, where do we even start? I guess the one thing I should note now is that. 7U is such a, like, you know, it's, like, so low in power creep that it doesn't even have anything like, let's say, psychic types. And the only electric type, I believe, is just Voltorb. Maybe Magnemite, but I'm not sure. So because of that, there's... Like, if you have a niche, it, it ends up being pretty good. And there is one that Wooper has, which is good, because it stats are real low. And that is... That's just Amnesia. Because they also have Psyduck in 7U, and Psyduck also has Amnesia. But what Wooper has going uh, against Psyduck would be that it has Amnesia, as well as Tap Earthquake. Which means that something let's say Amnesia, Surf, and then maybe Rest could be pretty good. You could probably put Ice Beam in there too, or I could place one of them if you really want to. But I personally... Do not think that's a good idea. Mostly because Whooper stats, even for 7U standards, they are not good. They are really not good. Especially that speed in that special, like, holy crap. That is, like, probably some of the worst speed I have ever seen on the history of this show. The only Pokemon I can think about that's probably slower is Shuckle. Shuckle. Base 15 is not good. It also means that with how frail you are, you it means that you can very easily get revenge killed. Which is a problem. A big problem. But then again, a stab, earthquake, and once you get amnesia up, you can at the very least like tank like hits from like, the water types decently well. Some other Pokemon too, but others not so much. It's it's an issue. But Wooper might be able to, you know, fight past that. Because, again, it's a water ground type. So it has amnesia with Psyduck. And along with, you know, one, you know, positive being it, you know, having a stab earthquake. It also means that he, you know, is immune to electric moves. So Nidorino's Thunderbolt, Kofari's Thunderbolt, and this Voltorb's entire existence, Wooper can take care of. Which is another positive. But is it enough? Only one way to find out, I guess. So starting off with the boy himself, the Tauros of this uh, tier, it is Meowth. Now this one actually really surprised me. Because Slash, I honestly expected Slash to do more. And I definitely expected Earthquake to do less. So that was a damage range, definitely. Because the first attack did 48%. So... Yeah, maybe we're off to a good start, because starting with the first Pokemon, it's, it could go either way. I'm not even sure Meowth would risk it, because if it doesn't get that damage range, he's kind of, you know, just kind of dead. 
And are you really gonna waste your Meowth going against a Blooper? Probably not. And I can't think of any flying types other than I guess there's still Duo, but even though Duo like you know has a lot of problems. So whatever Meowth has to switch into, you know, can probably take oh, like I don't think it'll be a lot of damage. It though it depends on the Pokemon. But Wooper, base 45 attack, stab earthquake. But you'll definitely feel the impact of it. And then for Charmeleon, we are definitely switching sides. <laughs> Now normally for most of the um, like ground types, Charmeleon will use like Fire Spin to you know just pivot out, which it could do here against Wooper, but it wouldn't do much. And obviously Earthquake does a lot of damage to Charmeleon, and Slash is even a two-hit KO. So even with Fire Spin, you would have to get really lucky in order to put Wooper in, in a, a Slash range, which you know it's not gonna happen. So. Okay, we're off to a good start already. This is actually very surprising. Next up, we have Tentacool. Tentacool has a... <gasps> it has a base stat total of 100 special. So if you ask me, this is actually better than I would have expected. If Wooper did have an Amnesia up, it would still do a lot of damage. But... He's doing his best. I'm actually not sure if this is a damage range or not. If someone could like... Or I might do the calc myself. But... This is a lot better than I thought it would be. So, if there's a chance that... Um... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. I was going to say there's a chance that it like, gets a damage range in Earthquake and Elko. Maybe this could be changed to Cuckoo either way. But no, I forgot. Tentacle has Wrap. So... Literally all Tentacool does is just trap Wooper until it's in range to kill with Surf. So yeah, I forget what I said. It's just a bad matchup. Like, there's like no positives to it. And yeah, no one's gonna be surprised here. Ivysaur is unwinnable. But luckily for Wooper, I'm pretty sure Ivysaur has been falling out of favor. Sort of like Beedrill. But I do not know. I'm not actually caught up with the whole 7U metagame. All I know is that being slower than Rhydon is pathetic. Especially when Rhydon, or not Rhydon, Rhyhorn. But look how much damage Rhyhorn does. Like, remember when I told you guys that, like, Wooper being slow and frail was, like, a big problem? This is exactly why. Even if you take down the Rhyhorn, you just get revenge killed. Because pretty much everything in this tier can, like, do half, you know, get rid of, like, half your health. It's not good. It's really not good. And against Golbat, Mega Drain does way too much to you. And Golbat has a base speed of 90, so even if you did get Amnesia up, and even if you do have Ice Beam, it's probably going to crit anyways. Even something like Golbat's like Double Edge or Hyper Beam would do a lot of damage to it. Which I don't think surprises anybody. And then against Beedrill. Meg I don't know how much Mega Drain would have done without a crit, but it doesn't really matter. Because even if like Me Mega Drain, like, you don't hit it with Mega Drain... Just a single sword stance uh, boost, it's enough to just Oko you with Hyper Beam. And Mega Drain, well considering, oh let's see here, how much did that do with the Amnesia up? Okay, so Mega Drain probably does a little less than half, I would have to imagine. But that's still pretty good. So yeah, and even with Beedrill, like, even Beedrill's like, you know, like not really like as good as it used to be. But even Wooper's like struggles against it, which is really unfortunate. I think it's Hitmonchan. Despite having an attack stat of 105, I would actually say Wooper took that uh, body slam up like, surprisingly well. But Submission is a much different story because it's stab and it does half your health. It is not good. And yeah, Submission is low. But Wooper just doesn't have any ways to just immediately threaten Hitmonchan. Even with Hitmonchan's low 35 special, guess whose special is even worse? Wooper with 25. So, Hitmonchan, it pretty, it's just a free KO, basically. Which is sad. But speaking of free KOs, obviously Voltorb doesn't have any way of touching Wooper, other than Toxic and Takedown. So, using Explosion is like the only thing you can really do. So, it's a free matchup, but I don't think anyone's really impressed. Like, anything can really take on Voltorb if you're a ground type. Or anything. 
Okay, that, that's a redundant sentence. I'm sorry about that. And then it gets Clefairy. It technically depends on what movesets you're using. Like, you're not always going to use Sync, and if anything, going for Sync probably just gives Wooper chances to get free Amnesias. But is Body Slam on Auto Include? I'm not sure. It, I'm pretty sure it might be, considering it's Stab. So, if that's the case, Clefairy just probably just has a good matchup no matter what. However, it's definitely one where Wooper can get a lot of hits in. It could probably get at least one Amnesia in, realistically. So, it could go either way. Although, I don't see many scenarios where Wooper's the one that ends up on top. But I'm su I suppose it can happen. And then, we got Nidorino. This one is kind of weird. Because Earthquake obviously does a lot of damage. And I'm not sure if Wooper actually wants to go for it immediately or not. Because Nidorino has pretty good physical and special moves. Regardless though, it can do a lot of damage. It to like both of them can do a lot of damage to each other, honestly. So it's another cuckoo either way. But I'm not exactly sure who has a better. Because the Nidorino went for body swim instead of double edge. You're not taking recoil, but you're not doing as much damage. And Wooper's already so slow, it doesn't care about paralysis anyways. If anything, a paralyzed Wooper is probably immensely better because now it can't get put to sleep by Clefairy or Venonat. Or like Ivysaur, but the Ivysaur one doesn't really matter. And against Golding. Sadly, Golding just can't get a 2 hit KO. Which means that once Wooper gets Amnesia up, it kind of has to rely on Double Edge. However, Wooper can wake up in time. They can wake up in time and rest again. So, Golding could, you know, fish for a crit. But is it worth it? Because how much recoil do you have to take, you know, if you're not getting those crits? It's weird. Because Golding can probably just fish for a crit with any move. Like, Sir is probably just as good for, um, you know, like getting a crit. So, it's, I'm not sure. Like, definitely, you know, like, Wooper's putting in work, even if it's not really doing anything. But a crit... Even a crit like Surf just like most of his health. So, yeah, it's probably just better just to spam Surf's. Because, you know, more power points, you don't take recoil. Just fish for a crit. But, I I don't know, even know what you call this. I guess you call this a matchup where it could go either way? Question mark? And then against Venonat. Venonat's basically the, like, like a much worse executor in a way. And this is the first time I've ever seen Sweet Powder miss uh, three times in a row. I'm not even sure how that's possible. But unfortunately for Wooper, it's Earthquake isn't even, like, a, not even a 2 hit KO. And you have, like, most of the time you're going to be using Surf, which, yeah, that probably could have hurt. But I highly doubt it would have actually killed Vetanet. But on the bright side, you know, Vetanet also is a Pokemon with low um, base sets. So, like, Mega Drain, it's, due to be fair, like, it was only, it probably was only not doing much because Wooper got two Amnesias up. It probably would do way more. But you probably would rather just go for Sweet Powder, I imagine. Might be easier, but I'm not sure. I, it's a weird matchup. And then Shelter. Now, normally Shelter struggles because unlike Cloyster, which is a pretty decent speed stat, Shelter is at base uh, 40, which is pretty bad. Especially on Pokemon like Meowth and Charmeleon and Golbat, which are like really fast. Both Meowth and Golbat are base 90. But Wooper is by far the slowest Pokemon in 7U. So Shelter has absolutely no problem clamp trapping it. Even if Wooper gets lucky and gets an Amnesia or two up, Shelter can just easily wear it down. There is nothing Wooper can actually do here. It is just a free matchup for Shelter, which I don't think you're surprised. Wait, no, I don't think I'm really surprised by that. Not to mention, I would probably assume that worst case scenario, Shelter's explosion is probably an OK on Whooper. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm assuming. And then we have uh, Psyduck, yes, and the Amnesia War. Although with this one, Psyduck's faster, 
It has better moves. Like, stab Hydro Pump is so much better than, like, you know, like, you stab Earthquake here. So Saida can just very easily take out Wooper, and there's not much Wooper can do. Even with- e Wooper even got two Amnesias there, and it did nothing. Or I think it did. Yeah, it did. So, I think we already know who's the better Amnesia setter. Even if one of them may or may not have a niche. Or I guess they'll get both in my niches. And Farfetch, it's just Meowth. But it has the flying typing. So you cannot hurt it at all. You like, you can go for an unboosted Surf if you want. Maybe even Ice Beam. But see how much it really does to Farfetch. It's not going to do a lot. I'm telling you right now. And then next up, we have Grimer. And that's actually the first time seeing its back sprite. It actually looks kind of cool. Earthquake does a lot of damage. So does Mega Drain. But surprisingly, Wooper can survive it. So, Grimer, I imagine, most likely doesn't risk it. Like, Wooper's... I know Mega Drain's probably a damage range. But I'm assuming Grimer's probably just like a sort of tank. So do you really want to take that much damage from it? Probably not. And if Wooper gets the Amnesia up, it just has a much easier time than, you know, beating Grimer as a whole. So I just, I just don't think you really bother with that matchup if you're the Grimer player. And last but not least, we have Kabuto. Now, Kabuto Slash does about as much as Meowth's, makes surprisingly enough. It also has Hydro Pump, which I'm assuming does just as much damage. But you really don't want to, like, risk that accuracy. Because Earthquake does so much to you. So it's probably just a bad matchup like, for you, just in general. So the Wooper, you know, just probably just takes it almost every single time. Even worse if... Or actually, no, I don't think Wooper, like, dares to set up Amnesia. Because if it goes for Slash, you are definitely screwed. So here is the tier list. And... Don't let this deceive you. This might look like it's pretty good, where it's like, oh, okay, yeah, he has some good matchups. Some bad, like, a little bit more bad ones, but it seems pretty good. Uh, no. Because, like, don't forget that, like, for, even for all these matchups, like, for the good ones that could go either way, that usually, like, has Looper taking a lot of damage. And even though it can beat, like, all of these 1v1, it ends with anything else coming in and just easily revenge killing Looper. So, it's, yeah, it's not as good as it looks. So, as you can probably tell, Wooper just doesn't have what it takes to be in Gen 1 uh, 7U. And I don't even think it's like Quacksire in OU where it has a sort of niche. Because it's, Earthquake is just not enough. It's just outclassed by Psyduck in every way, which I forgot to put on here. Oh, uh, where is Psyduck? I, f I forget the order, because, like, it's been so long since I've actually had to, like, look at this tier list, because I normally, you know, just, because normally the way, you know, like, the Pokemon are already saved here, and just have the OU mons, here he is. Alright, let's just put you at the top, since I have to look for you. So, yeah, there's, no there's nothing I can do. Uh, Wooper, I, I know there's people trying to make an eat you, question mark? But I don't think it's really figured out. Would Wooper be good there? Maybe? But I imagine if it's not having to deal with War Turtle, it might be dealing with Squirtle, or maybe Poliwag, if Poliwag is still a thing. I truly don't know. But it actually was pretty interesting going over 7U. And I wouldn't mind doing more videos. So now. I have four tiers you can suggest. Gen 1 OU, Gen 1 Ubers, Gen 1 7 U, and Gen 1 10 U. I now have a much bigger variety of Pokemon and tiers I can do, which means much more potential for way more videos. So I don't be afraid that I comment anything. Although for 7 U, I think you should probably be a little more careful. Because as you can probably tell, it's a very really fragile tier. So you can't just like to just like any pre-evolved Pokemon and assume it would be fine. Because there's a good chance it might just dominate the tier. So it might- so this is probably gonna be the- Okay, maybe that- This will probably be more common than 10 new videos. Just because- 
both sun current wishy-washy and unknown have proved to me that it's maybe a little too easy to break that tier but i'm not sure you just suggest whatever you want i have like no problem doing videos on it but until next time this is Grandback, and I look forward to hearing from you.